So today I'm going to show you how to fix a DeWalt flexible battery specifically that will not charge though this is applicable to other batteries that may have the same kind of issue. So these flexible batteries have a three year warranty um, and you can look on the top and see the date code. So the date code on this one is 2019 and it's the sixth week of 2019. So that means February, the mid, mid part of February of 2019 was when this was made. And if you take that battery in, you know, because it's got a problem within that three year date, from that manufacturing date, they will give you a brand new one, pretty much no questions asked. Um, but, as is in the case of this battery right here, this was made in 2017, uh, the 11th week and we're already past that 2020 um, so can't just take it in and say hey my battery's not charging so I ran through the usual things that I do which is to clean the contacts and typically all I do is I take a a wood shim and I shove it into the contacts here and just get the grease and the dirt and stuff off of there and that solved my battery problems before it just had dirt in the contacts. So that's the first thing you'd want to try is use some sandpaper, use a shim, use something to clean the contacts. Uh, the next thing is to make sure that your chargers, uh, whatever charger you're using isn't bad, that can happen. Uh, try a different charger, see if that doesn't work. Um, but as was the case with this battery, I tried this charger, that charger, and these two chargers and it would do the same thing. It would turn on, start blinking, and then 10 seconds later, it would indicate a full red light that the battery was charged, but it was still on one bar. And it would do that with that charger and that one. And so after cleaning the contacts of the battery, it was still doing the same thing. And so I took it apart because I wanted to look inside and kind of test it and, and look and see if any of the uh, cells were bad. Nothing was bad. Everything looked fine, so I pulled out my multimeter here and I tested the battery and I'll just replicate it on these. But what I did was I tested right here. Here, let's see if I can do this. There you go. So you've got negative and positive. This is B negative and B positive, and this should read around 20 volts on a fully charged battery. So I've got, uh, you can use anything, but right now I've got some just uh, scraper blades in here. But you can see when I'm touching negative and positive, I've got 20.6 volts registering on the multimeter. And that indicates a fully charged battery and is exactly where it should be at. When I did this with the battery that was bad, it showed 17.4 volts. And so I thought, well, maybe that voltage is too low. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can jump it off of another fully charged battery. So I pulled out my little alligator clips here, plugged in these little scraper blades. Any kind of utility blade will fit in there. It's just what I had laying around. You could use pretty much anything. You can probably use a fuse, I've done that with other batteries before, but um, a lot of amperage is gonna be flowing through these tips, so anyway, it's just a piece of metal, make sure it's not contacting anything else. I have negative on this side, positive on this side. And then I just did the same on the other one, negative on this side, positive on this side. I won't plug this in because this battery is good over here, but when you um, plug in negative and positive, all of the, both of the cells, the batteries are going to start equalizing out. The fully charged cells in this one are going to be transferring energy to balance out the load into the other battery. And uh, so as it's doing that, the voltage of the other one rose from 17.4 or so to a little over 18.5. And so at that point I thought, huh, I wonder if I can charge it now. That was probably about 20 seconds of contact. The, uh, the alligator clip started getting warm, a little hot to the touch, so I knew energy was transferring through. And so I took the, the battery that wasn't charging, put it up here on the charger, and voila, it is charging now. And you can see on the back, 
It's at two bars now. Going strong, so you don't have to pull the clamshell off like I did. That was just so I could kind of see and look and knew what I was messing with. But just do this method, get out your multimeter, check the positive and negative. Okay, we've got it on, I've got it on 200 volts DC because it's a little over 20. And that just shows you how much voltage is between these two. And uh, if it's too low, that could be your problem, that the charger is not able to recognize it. Uh, and that it will not charge it. So give it a little juice from one of its brothers and it should be good to go.